Hey guys, it's me Haley. How are you guys today? And God, even though this is a really cute top, it wrinkles and doesn't look that great on me. <laughs> I'm doing another taste test today and uh, it's going to start off with tea. Or, uh, actually latte. So which one should I do first? Uh, I'll do spice chai because I don't really care for chai. So this is a tea latte mix. It is from Banner. And for a bust flavor of exotic chai and sweetened black tea. Don't really care for lattes, but Okay. Just dropping everything. So came off. That's never a good sign. I got a knife though. Despite the fact that I don't like the taste of chai, I love the smell of chai. And this smells wonderful. So, that's what it looks like in the canister. It looks like a little brown powder of hell. And I got some nice hot liquid. Pour it in a cup. Now, this says, where is it? Two tablespoons. This is it. Okay. In three fourths cup. God, I hope this isn't going to go a bad way. So I'm mixing that up. Now let's get the lid on. So while that seeps a little, I'll do wiping up this. It's got some of the chai in it. Okay. Some liquid in here. Nice hot steamy. Let's just keep stirring this up. Okay. Now open this one. This is the matcha, which is green tea. Which is really funny because it's uh, made with sweetened matcha green tea. Is a matcha and green tea the same thing? No, my luck it wouldn't be. And it's that nice kind of green color. It smells like grass. And uh, this is the same stuff for two tablespoons for three fourths cup. Now I get to stir. Now this is exceedingly hot, so... Okay, so this seems to have chilled a bit. Ooh. Smells very chide. Kind of smells like cinnamon a little bit. And it is a brownish color. Kind of looks like poop. Kind of tastes like a milky gingerbread. Actually, it tastes better than what gingerbread usually tastes like. I really don't mind this one. It's not too bad. It's not my cup of tea, which is hilarious because this is tea. Okay, so let's try the uh, matcha green tea, which kind of looks like green soup. It's like a light green color. Don't know if you can tell. It's really hard to do. And I just splashed them on the computer. Oh, that 
artistic. That tastes like matcha. Lots of matcha. You know those uh, t t matcha candies that you get? This tastes just like the candy. So that's not bad. That, that, that tastes like a matcha pocky. Which is like, again, what I've said before. Nice grass. Oh, poor camera. Okay. So, next up on my little taste test, because, yeah, this is going pretty long, um, is Turkish figs. I've never had fig. These are dried. And um, that's not very appealing. That looks like a butthole. Now, how the hell I get into this? Do I have scissors? I have a knife. I love a dull knife. Okay. So, just take one out. That doesn't smell bad. That is weird. Look at the insides. That's weird. This reminds me. My friends are always going on about figgy pudding this time of year. I've never had figgy pudding. I've had Fig Newtons and this kind of tastes slightly like a Fig Newton. Not bad. It kind of feels like I'm eating really old corn husks. It's very gritty. But not bad. Just a little weird. Hot, 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 hot. Oh my god, it's so gritty. I got grits all over. I just moved my mouth. And I, st I keep hearing it. It keeps crunching. It's like the thing that keeps on giving. Figgy pudding be this crunchy? Okay. One of the reasons why I wanted to do this taste test is because I wanted to have some monkey bread. Ooh, that smells delicious to the packaging. It smells kind of cinnamon. Mm. Whenever I see monkey bread, I always am like, it looks so delicious. And this is from La Lavion Fresh. All these. So, here we are. I love the little uh, kind of folding bra braid. Okay. So, you get a nice little marbling inside. It's sweet. It's like a nice cinnamon bread that's very sticky. Kind of like a cinnamon bread and a coffee crumble with raisins. That's actually really good. I hope I don't overeat this. This is going to be a nice treat for Christmas. Yeah, I prefer the uh, bread over anything else. The crumble is not that great. Next up is... Oh, this smells delicious. This one says it's an apple fritter and it's a breakfast bread. Oh, I cannot tell you just how delicious that is. If you had smell vision, I'll let you smell, but I haven't invented smell vision yet. It is from the same company. Oh, that smells just so fresh. And let's break it off. Mm. Ooh, that had a piece of apple in it. Okay. Now, this does not smell fake at all. Funny thing is, I've actually had 
fritters before. Really weird part was it was at the Amish market. So just take a little bit off. It doesn't want to really come off like in a slice, but a piece of pulled. So we got a nice little pulled piece. Mm. So you got some nice little raisins in here. I had a little piece of apple earlier. Kind of like a fluffy donut. Mm. And if people say they can slice this bread, they're full of shit. You need a fucking machine to do that. Oh, that's delicious. I love these. Okay. Oh, I'm sticky, I'm sticky, I'm sticky. Next up is... Okay, I'm not a big Pop-Tart fan. And these are apple caramel. Or caramel, whatever you'll call it. My friend's gonna hit me because I said caramel. She says caramel. No, yes, I'm trying these cold. There's not much of a taste difference with hot and cold. Some of them are, some of them are different. So let's see. Well, for starters, this is a boring look. And just like all Pop-Tarts, it's like 90% bread. Mm. You can taste the different flavors. They're not very pronounced. If you look carefully, you can see it's kind of like the s'mores one. We got a run of apple, a run of caramel, a run of apple, and a run of caramel. It's not that great. It's not horrible, but it's not great. But, it'll do in a pinch. Let's see. Attack of the knife! It's not bad on fat, it's only 10%. Get back on the plate. Eh. So, last item is this party mix, which we have uh, honey roasted nut mix. Butter toffee cashews, sea salt caramel peanuts, and vanilla cream almonds. Do they think the Hulk's going to steal your nuts? Ah, it's pinching me, it's pinching me. My poor finger got a dent. Don't you just love when your finger gets a line in it from the packaging? That hurts. Ugh. Okay, so. We already know that these are the vanilla cream. Tastes like almond.
Did you really have to add anything to that? Because it doesn't taste like much besides almond. Okay. Butter toffee cashew. Butter toffee is good. I prefer them with almonds because almonds are have more robust flavor. The cashew shines in through that one. Was that good? No, that's a terrible cashew. Because sometimes you get bad cashew in the bunch. That was a bad cashew. But it's taste shine through. Hmm. This is pretty good. But I prefer butter toffee almonds. Ah, the taste of grass. Now let's see. I have no idea. Are these the sea salt caramel peanuts? Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, that was intense. If you want an explosion of flavor, that that, that was an explosion of flavor. I cannot tell you what it is exactly because it, I had everything. I can't even tell you if they're overbearing or not. Let's try another one. Okay, the first time I bite into it, it is way too salty for me in the first bites. Then, boom! Peanut! It's like, okay, well, that's interesting. And then, phwah, Honey! So, it's like every one of them has their own stage, and I have now a salty honey nut in my mouth. It tastes like I put salt on my honey nut Cheerios. Wouldn't that be good? Okay, and the last one is Honey Roasted Mix. So, there's that. Whatever this is, I think this is almond. Very good. Catch you. Can't go wrong. No idea what this thing is. That was from the honey nut one. Migrated over. Peanut. These are all pretty good. They're kind of beer snacks. So. In conclusion, the sea salt honey or sea salt caramel is intense. The uh, butter toffee is always a good one. You never can go with, wrong with honey nut, and uh, the vanilla cream. There's nothing to it. You could be anything, and yeah, there's nothing to this. 
I have pretty good, good taste buds and I can barely taste the vanilla. It's just like a little powder. It comes off in your fingers. Totally useless. See, unless you get the big old amount of the uh, powder, you don't really taste it. But for the most part, it's pretty damn good. Did you have this at a party? I'm coming. So, we actually got a chai tea that I'll eat, or, or drink, a green tea that tastes like grass. And I finally figured out what a fig it tastes like. And besides the fact that it keeps giving, they're not bad. I just don't like the fact that you can eat one and you get the seeds for about 20 minutes. So, our biggest faux pas or problematic thing in the evening was the Pop Tarts, and that was basically bland, bland, bland. So, ooh, excuse me, <laughs> I really enjoyed it apparently. So, thank you guys for joining me for another taste test. I had no idea what to call this. Toodles.